I was using, I was empty, uh, and I was basically asking God not to let me die the way that I was. Uh, that was my prayer every single day, is God, please, every time I'd get high, I'd be like, no matter what happens, please don't let me die this way. I had panic attacks for years. Uh, I started developing uh, a for real sense that if I died the way that I was, I was going to hell. One night I was in my room and a Billy Graham sermon came on. That message stuck with me for a couple weeks. I didn't, I didn't immediately uh, ask Jesus into my heart. I thought that God was done with me. I thought that he wouldn't hear me anymore. So I ran into my room and I got down on my knees and I said, God, uh, if, if you're listening, I believe that your son died for me on the cross. And if you'll come into my heart, and forgive me for my sin, I'll live my life for you. And I instantly felt the weight of all my guilt and shame and sin come off of me. I had never felt anything so free in my life. You know, I started going to church, uh, I was going to meetings. Eventually that led up to me uh, finding my wife in church. Eventually uh, I got away from the Lord a little bit. Uh, and, and I went back. I, you know, and when I went back, it it was terrible. It didn't last very long. It was about three weeks, and uh, I went back to treatment. And when I got out again, I I was more surrendered than I had ever been in my life. I was speaking in uh, Sunday school a lot, and people started noticing and saying that, man, you really have a gift. Uh, to this day, I, I believe that that was what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, I, I answered the call, I got licensed to preach. Uh, my pastor uh, recommended me to other churches and a church called me uh, three weeks after I had preached my first sermon and uh, they called me to be the pastor. Uh, I started thinking that people needed to listen to me uh, I was frustrated that they weren't doing what I was telling them to do, allowed that the weight of that frustration to cripple me, and the day came that I uh, that I did relapse, and it cost me my ministry, it cost me my marriage. Uh, life got really dark at that point, and I wondered if there was forgiveness for that. I wondered if uh, God was really gonna be there. I said, God, I don't know if you're listening. I don't know if you hear me. I don't know if you love me. I don't know if I've gone too far, but if there's anything in you that hears me, uh, I sincerely want you to help me. That was three years ago. Uh, I haven't had a drink or a drug since. Uh, actually, when I met my current wife, she wasn't saved. She asked me, she said, you know, if I want to be saved, what do I have to do? And I was like, man, there's no better question in the world that you could ask me than that. I just, you know, I told her to, to read the book of John. So she got off the phone with me and about 30 minutes later, got back on the phone. And she said, I gave my life to Jesus Christ. And I was just blown away. I was introduced through some friends to Soul Quest Church. Uh, I saw the message that the guy was holding up on the billboard that said, we're messed up too. It stripped away the, the feeling and the sense that a lot of church had given me in my life, which was that, you know, you gotta look right, you gotta dress right, you gotta talk right, you gotta walk right. Uh, in order to be welcome here and Soul Quest just totally stripped that away in the parking lot like look man we've all got problems uh, of course when we got in there the message was exactly the same you know that God will love you will lift you up will take care of you right where you are he'll meet you where you are and so it was a place that we could come and feel free to be who we were God's forgiveness his mercy his redemption everything uh it's without limits i mean he's restored me uh, as you can tell from my story more than once and uh it's not just if you screw up once i'm done with you uh he made a commitment to me 
And it's my testimony that God is a God that's never left me and he continues to lift me up and I'm grateful for that.